Dull Weteamnes, this is I'm Emilia, also known as the Martian Geek, also known as the person who apparently can't keep a consistent schedule. My first take of this was recorded during Holy Week. And if you don't know when that is, that's the week before Easter. But anyway, welcome back to another, uh, another episode of Mega Man 2, and I'm already stumbling over my words, that bodes well, not. We only have two Robot Masters left, and they're the two whose names happen to rhyme. So let us go after Crash Man. There he is in all his red and white glory. And this is a very vertically oriented level as Mega Man stages go. We start off with a couple of rooms like this, where we have some ladders to climb up and a bunch of these guys to deal with. I haven't really come up with the best way to get by these sections. But, just keep in mind that, as with Heat Man's stage, once there are three of them on the screen, no more will spawn. Oh, there we go, that was pretty easy. And we have some nets here. Alright. And... Now we have what are basically Mega Man 2's equivalent of line-guided platforms from the Mario series. There are three rooms like this in this stage, and this isn't the only place we'll see them, but meh. The other stage that has them we'll get to when we get to it. I'm actually surprised they haven't really brought back a gimmick like this in any future games, at least I can't think of any other Mega Man game that, would, that has platforms similar to these. Yeah, here's the third room. As you can see, each one is more complicated than the last. If you really want an easier an easy time in these rooms, you can put on the leaf shield, and these guys will be completely unable to touch you. Quite literally. Or if you don't want it to be quite that easy, you could use a metal blade and actually have to aim. But we've already reached the halfway point of this stage. Hey, I actually dodged that guy successfully. Yeah, Crash Man stage generally isn't too hard if you're just careful and paying attention. Also, this is the most pointless room in the entire level. And this is probably the most awkward enemy placement in the level. But I actually got around it! I did not think I would do that my first try. Uh, first time. First try, first time, I kind of got it mixed up. Oh, but the one that was easy to dodge got me. I think you generally want to go up the right ladder here, but, uh, this part, I have not f God darn it. I have not found a proper way to get through this part without either using special weapons or face tanking a lot of damage, so go, go, leaf shield. Uh, go, go, apparently holding the button for too long. In fact, judging by the perfect run, it's apparently outright impossible to get through this part unscathed. At least without using special weapons, or making use of a pause glitch. We have an E-Tank down there, and since I'm allowed to use special weapons, and it's a heck well, okay. Actually, the best way to get that is to use item 1. Just jump down there, and then use the platform to get back up. Same way for getting up this ladder, and getting that one up. You can get that E-Tank without item 1, if, um, if you take the left path there instead of the right one like I did. But frankly, it's easier the way I did it. And we have these guys. Briefly. Okay, so you got one last hit on, in on me. Congratulations. And we are to Crash Man. You also might have noticed the change in background here. Now we have kind of a night sky deal going on. And the palette also darkened. So the thing about Crash Man is... He's durable and he's powerful, but he has a really abusable AI pattern. As long as you're careful enough, you can pretty much just... As long as you're careful enough, I said. He always jumps and shoots a crash bomb whenever you shoot. So you can use that to your advantage if you're careful enough with your timing. If he's a little too close to you, you may not want to do that. Wait for him to put, him, to put some distance between himself and you. But yeah, you can pretty much loop this pattern all day. Like I said, that doesn't mean you want to come in here with only one hit left. 
because you can still screw up like I did, and it, he seems to be slightly more aggressive on difficult mode. I don't know if that's just me. But yeah, this is Crash Run's boss fight. Great game design there. Also, apparently there's some debate about if his name is correct. I guess the Japanese version has it spelled as Clash Man? You know, the whole Japanese L versus R confusion and all. And it's possible it was even supposed to be Crush Man, I've heard? I'm gonna split the difference and say it was actually Clush Man. What do you mean that isn't a word? I just made it up. It means to... <laughs> blow things up by sticking explosives to them. The point is, whatever his name is, he's down. He's... Down now. We defeated Crash Man. And we get his weapon, which is definitely not one of the more useful ones in Mega Man 2. C. Get equipped with. Crash Bomber. Not that anyone actually ever actually calls it the Crash Bomber. Usually it's just the Crash Bomb or Crash Bombs or whatever. There's our password if you need it. And we are down to one Robot Master, so let's go after Flashman. I didn't save him for last because he's the hardest or anything, quite the contrary. Though he is one of those Robot Masters that I tend to underestimate when playing on difficult mode because... Well, I guess we'll get to him when we get to him. Weird thing about Flashman's stage is it apparently has ice physics. Despite not really being an ice stage. Our main foe here will be these guys, I believe they're called Crazy Cannons. They always shoot a pattern of six shots um, forward and then six shots up, so you can take advantage of that. Let's see, I think we want to go up to the left here, so we'll need item one for that. I also quite like Flashman's stage music. Probably one of my favorites from Mega Man 2. I still think this game's soundtrack is outdone by a number of the later games in the series. Also. There's a... that enemy chose a pretty bad attack location. You can go through those walls up here if you need to. Oh boy. Yeah, I figured I was gonna take a hit there. No, not two hits! Stupid ice physics! Maybe I should have just gone to the left here. You know what? I am actually gonna get that. Now we get to see what the main use of the crash bomb is. You can stick it to these walls. And it will blow them up, and I missed the thing. Wow, I am definitely not on the right... Wow, this is just going absolutely terribly. I completely took the wrong path here. Okay, don't do like I did. At least we get this one. Yeah, there's definitely an easiest route through this stage, and that was not it. Also, when the Sniper Joes are out of their mechs, they always shoot three shots. And I don't really feel like taking any unnecessary risks. Now if we take this path here, if we're careful, we can get ourselves another E-Tank. Okay, yeah, we have three right now. And you can only have four in Mega Man 2. Despite these being single-tile wide platforms, you actually tend to want to keep moving here because of the ice physics that will make it a little bit harder than need be to... Um, well, whatever. The point is, you can jump down or you can crash bomb through this wall, and I'm going to choose the latter because that's safer. And it's already time for the boss. Yeah, Flashman's stage is pretty empty. Especially if you don't screw up the route through it like I did. <laughs> Almost tempted to, do, to redo this one. But whatever, we made it through. It's Flashman time. And I think he always jumps when you shoot. His main gimmick is that. Hey! What are you doing doubling back there? You generally don't want to be on the same horizontal level as him. Because then, when he uses the Time Stopper, the bullets will hit you. If you're far enough above or below him, they'll miss. And yeah, that looked... okay, just a few more. That was a little close. Yeah, Flash Run's a lot easier on normal mode. He's still one of the less durable Robot Masters. He takes twice as much damage from the Buster as Crash Man did, but that's still 14 shots. At least, right now it is. 
F, get equipped with Time Stopper, which again, probably doesn't need to be hyphenated. And we get a message from Dr. Light. You can probably guess what's going on here. Item 3 completed. Get your weapons ready. 3. Get equipped with slow text speed. And item 3. Now this is one item they really didn't bring back in a future game in any sort of form, and I guess there's a reason for that, because it's probably the least useful of them. Item 3... Well, you know what, I'll explain that in the very next episode, because we're gonna need to use it then. But anyway, if we go back to the stage select, we find Dr. Wily. And his animated eyebrows. Yeah, we don't go back to the stage select screen after defeating the 8th Robot Master, we go right into the fortress. And we're, gonna, and we're not gonna do the fortress stages this time, we will save those for next time. But I guess you get a preview of Dr. Wily Stage 1. This is actually the first game that had the fortress stage map, Mega Man 1 didn't have a map like that. And we get a preview, preview of this music. But, we're done for now. We've defeated our two, two bosses, and I will see you next time as we enter Dr. Wily's Fortress.